Hello everyone, my name is Matt Wright and I just want to show you guys how to fix a um, quick audio issue. So I had a friend do some recording for me and after I started performing he turned down the volume um, right where I've got this automation right now. So I'm going to scroll all the way in to show you kind of what it looks like. And you can see kind of the, the oops, you can see the sound level here kind of as an average is looks very different than here. And so this is the area where he turned it, turned it down. So what I'll do is I'll turn off the track automation so you can listen to it. And then I'll, I'll just uh, add it back in. So there's this kind of nice drop off in the music anyways. Um, so the way you fix it is you can, in audition, you have to use the multi-track editor and not the, so now we're in the waveform editor, you can see in the top left corner. So there's no way to do track automation here and I didn't want to compress the whole track. So if you press zero, hop back into the multi-track editor, zoom back into our spot. I just press control Z. So I had to bring it up eight decibels and I found the spot where it sounded smooth to bring that up. So let me play that for you. And if we're watching, seeing what our average is down here, looks like the left channel's a little bit, uh, maybe a little bit more than the right channel, but we'll go back and fix that later. So the next step is, so this is a uh, classical work, so we've got movement one here, movement two here. Um, so we actually need to reset our volume here at the end of this. Okay, so after you're at this point where you've split it on both sides of the tracks, you right click and say convert to unique copy. And so what that does is then when we do the next step here, which is bounce uh, to new track, which will render our automation, then, or select Eclipse only, then we get this one right below it, and we'll go ahead and listen to that. And right in there was where our, our volume drop was, but zoom in. And did we do a good job? I think we did a pretty good job. It's pretty level. Uh, sounds like things drop. You see the difference here. So let's see, maybe we can target just the... Uh... Okay, so our next step from here, we checked out our uh, file and right in here we saw that there's still a volume drop in here. So now that we're in the waveform view, we can split it, extract channels to mono files. So now we need to keep track of them. So this is bounce three, bounce R, then we right click again, insert into multi-track, Matt recital the reel is our session name and it was over that. So what I'm gonna do is drop it down another track and we'll just double check that this is the one where we have our drop. Yeah, so the you, you can hear the sound really thins out, sounds more distant uh, over here. So one more time. So again, fixing that. Just zoom all the way in. And take our volume automation. It almost looks like it comes back up, but we need to determine if that's the music. I think that's the music as opposed to, um, as opposed to just the sound. So listening to this little part, what we'll actually do is we can put in and out points. And in our playback here, we get the little loop button, which is controlled by default by control L. You see the little thing. Oops, let's solo our track. <laughs> Excellent, that's even more smooth. So G to take off our in and out points. Do this. We say um, convert to unique copy just to make sure we don't um, fiddle with our other track there. Bounce to new track, selected clip only. So now we scroll down and we've got our new copy of just our right channel. Zoom in right on that spot. Looks like our edit um, maybe wasn't very good, but there's also a little bit of a tailing off of the volume there. So um, 
back to the waveform editor. We'll pop back just a few steps. So there's where we added our volume animation or our track automation. We'll try 3.5. Let's uh let's solo our track. That's important. That's much more smooth to my ear. I'll play it one more time for you guys. And you know the the change in tone there is actually probably because I just turned while performing. So again, convert to unique copy. Oops. Bounce the new track. Selected clip only. Zoom out, get rid of some of our unused tracks here. Control backspace to get rid of tracks. This is our uh, original bounce. So then what we can do is we can go favorites. There's a convert to mono here. So now we've just got, this is our right track. So select all, copy, back to this. This is our bounce, remember, from, I'll zoom out so you can see the whole file. This is our little excerpted bit. So we'll hop in here, disable our left channel, control A on the right channel, paste the new one, and it looks like our volume is a little different now. So re-enable our things and let's see how we did. Very smooth, awesome, wonderful. All right, next step, we can go ahead and delete this because in our multi-track editor still exists, actually, if we just pull that over. But what we're doing is we're making space to pull this edit in with the rest of them. So we can go ahead and we can just overlap these a little bit. If we zoom in, you can see, it's just put a little crossfade there for us. We can delete our other bounce. There's nothing else on our other tracks, so we'll go ahead and remove those, keep our session really tidy. If we zoom back in, so where we can see all our clips, so these are movement one, movement two, movement three, right click, merge clips, and now when we hop in here, we can address all of our um, movements at once, and we so we took out a file, we adjust channels individually, we did our normal edits on the track. We took out the original file, or the original piece of the file, and put it back in with all the edits. Hope that is helpful for um, showing you guys how to render track automation and also address channels individually when you want to um, do render the track automation, but it's still not quite where you need it because of a manual um, adjustment like that, which isn't um, mechanically perfect. So thanks for watching. See you guys.